Hey now, Petey Grizz here. How goes it, everyone? Wanted to do a video on what I think, at least today, is the best Swiss Army knife ever made. Period. Hands down. End of discussion. It's the Ranger. It is a great set of tools. Not too much, but just everything you need. Everything I need. Everything most people need. So let's take a look at it. This is a uh, mid to late 70s Ranger with the camping scales. You notice the scale is inlaid, inlaid stainless steel. Uh, later when they went on to stamping and printing these. So the earlier ones actually have a metal inlay. And uh, a quick way to tell in pictures is that the metal inlay, this little tent is a solid, thick solid bar on each uh, side but on the later printed ones it's either two or three lines instead of a solid bar so that is usually a dead giveaway that you're looking at a printed one instead of an inlay we've got the cool aluminum tweezers which are error correct love them love the little pop of shininess you get from that got the toothpick gotta have a toothpick on the bottom, we've got the reamer sands hole for a sewing hole. And we've got the corkscrew with the decorative fluting. Yes, I know in the, that there are instances where doing this to a threaded uh, fastener will increase the surface area and give it better holding properties. But this is just done for decoration. Uh, nobody has problems with their uh, corkscrew ripping out of corks. If anything, the problem is that either the cork breaks or once in a while you bend a corkscrew. Then elsewhere on the back, we have this, what they now call their fine screwdriver or technician screwdriver, which is interesting when you compare it to the later one, which looks like this. So it's got a finer tip. It's got the hump for the nail neck rather than just being one out. This is actually almost the size of the chisel like on this handyman. But anyway, let's keep it moving. Um, so we've got the opening layer. The big bad bottle opener. The inside of this one, they were not sharpening the inside for cable stripping at this point. Wire stripping notch. No half stop because that started around 1985 or so. This side, we've got the can opener with the combination small flathead Phillips driver on the tip. Uh, they do drive Phillips screws rather well. I usually prefer this over the backside Phillips. You know, um, the backside Phillips is nice if you got something that's really torqued down, but the whole point of Phillips screws is to not have things over torqued, so it's kind of a redundancy. The next layer is the lovely, lovely Victorinox scissors. You know, I use uh, a, a, a pair, maybe not this pair, but a pair of Victorinox scissors at least once a day. Uh, my medicine comes in these little foil envelopes that are very like awkward to open. Like you have to fold them and then rip them, and it's much easier just to use these scissors. So fantastic something I use on a daily basis. This saw, and this is the uh, machine saw. Uh, prior to the mid 60s, they had a polished surface, but later they went to a brushed surface on finish on the surface. But saws, they cut very well. They're, they'll even cut, these are great for uh, cutting sheetrock. Uh, if you were doing like electrical work, adding an outlet or something, these are perfect for cutting out the hole for a new outlet or a new light switch or something like that. Then we have the old, uh, the old style file, which is a, is case hardened file rather than being made of the stainless steel, like the newer files, uh, you know, there are some people prefer one. I, I happen to prefer this one. It's a little more smoother in operation. It works better as a nail file. The later one's too coarse for me. It just tears my nails up. Don't like it, but I'll live with it. Then we've got a, oh wow, a pen blade.
No snap though. Dan, boom, bam, bong. We've got the, the main event, the big bad Victorinox blade. Uh, always see people asking, why don't they make it out of better steel? Uh, the truth is, like, the whole thing with steel is just silly. Like, most people are going to buy their S5000, 15K, whatever it is, fancy steel. And the only thing they're going to do is open their next knife box with it. Uh, it's just absolutely ludicrous. Um, there's a trade-off when you go to harder, like, steels that uh, are supposedly tougher and harder, that retain edge better, are more brittle and break easier. It's uh, a trade-off. Either you trade flexibility for hardness... Um, you trade, you know, edge retention or toughness. It, it, there's always a compromise. And I think uh, the Victorinox blade is a great compromise. Uh, it's perfect for, you know, everyday use. It's very easy to resharpen. Uh, Swiss Army knives are a great starter if you want to just start learning how to sharpen. It's very forgiving steel. It's relatively easy to work with. And um, if you mess it up, you can fix it pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, that's another great thing about them. The, let's talk about the models that are most similar to the Ranger. Uh, the next direct relative, a, a cousin you might say, is the Master Craftsman. The only difference between the Ranger and the Master Craftsman is that the Master Craftsman has a Phillips driver. This one happens to have a broken tip, but that's okay. We'll let it slide, you know. Got a Phillips driver instead of a corkscrew. Other than that, same exact tool layout. Uh, later on, they also had, this is an earlier, like a 60s one. Later on, they had uh, the fine screwdriver. So literally the same exact tool set, just switching the corkscrew for a Phillips driver. I know a lot of people will go for that. But as far as I'm concerned, if it doesn't have a corkscrew, it's not a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> Next, we've got... Not that one. That's a little ridiculous. Here's this one. My sweet huntsman with uh, my Carta scales from DLT Trading. Uh, this is the only difference between the huntsman and the, uh, what am I talking about? The ranger? Yeah, ranger. We'll go ranger. Is that it doesn't have the metal file. So, and the metal file is also the layer where the, uh, I believe it is. Let me check that. Yeah, that's the layer where you get the fine screwdriver too. So if you look on a Swiss champ, a handyman, anything that has the metal file will have that fine screwdriver on the other side. But uh, on a side note, Macarta scales, a great way, or G10 or anything else, great way to upgrade your Swiss Army knife, give it a new look, some new life, freshen it up, get you more excited about it, get it back into the rotation. Very cool thing to do. Um, Next similar model I already showed, the Handyman. The Handyman just adds the pliers. It also has the chisel, which goes on, it looks like it's on the fire layer. Uh, the chisel and the screwdriver can go either on the file layer or the saw layer, they're the same thickness. So you'll see them, but very cool. This adds the hook too. Later Rangers would have the hook too. So, you know, the handyman gives you the pliers. So, I don't know. Maybe the handyman might be the best sack of all time. I just know that by calling this the next best sack of all time, I'm going to get somebody to comment and say, No, man, this is my favorite sack is a climber or whatever. And uh, that's great. I think everybody, you know, is free to choose the one they like. But this is the one I like. And this is the one I like today. Tomorrow, I might have another best sack ever made. Who knows? I might just start calling every video I make the best sack ever made. And see how far I can go with that. Anyway, that's it for the Victorinox Ranger. Sweet knife, sweet inlay. This one's got a sweet little leather monkey's fist on the end of it. Love it. So, thank you for watching, everybody. And I will see you in the next one right after I go out there and choke that dog that is barking and drive, ruining my videos. I kid. It, I'm watching my brother's dog for the week and it's made trying to do videos absolutely brutal because it barks wanting its toy thrown 24 hours a day and it's driving me insane. Insane.